Hey everyone, Axel, our team here. Wanted to go through a quick introduction and demo of our newly released satellite application. It is a, a simple UI that allows you to uh, facilitate uh, uh, the transfer of assets across chains. Um, in terms of um, asset support, uh, the list is ever growing, but um, as of day one, uh, that'll include uh, UST and Luna on Terra. Uh, to and from a, a half dozen or so EVM chains. Uh, for the purpose of this demo, um, I think what we'll look to do is uh, kind of walk through the steps of um, transferring, uh, just to pick some examples, uh, to transferring UST uh, from Terra to Avalanche and uh, this, uh, some of the steps that we would take there. So uh, just getting right into it. Uh, you could go ahead and pick out those parameters from the dropdown. What we've also enabled for you is the ability to just to just kind of pick uh, among some quick picks. Um, so that flow I just for that flow I just described, that's uh, exactly here. You see that sort of auto populates for you. Um, once that happens, you see um, there's a, a little window that pops up with some summary stats, right? Including uh, what we'll ask for uh, the minimum amount to transfer for this transaction. Um, fees that we'll assess, as well as the total approximate wait time for um, that transaction. Uh, kind of finally, um, for this destination address, we give you the option of uh, auto-populating that from your wallet. In this case, uh, it'd be a connected MetaMask wallet. You certainly don't have to do that, but for this case, I will. Um, so just clicking on that, uh, I have to connect my account. All right, and you see that's populated. Um, there's a little uh, message here that says, hey, this is in beta, which by the way, if you see any issues, do let us know. <laughs> um, so hitting uh, initiate asset transfer. What happens in this case is um, our network uh, generates a one-time deposit address. And in this case, because we're going from um, Terra to another chain, um, the deposit address in question is indeed uh, an, an Axler address. And in order to make that deposit from uh, into this Axler address from Terra, you would have to do um, an IBC transfer. Um, and to do that, you could either uh, just kind of copy this address um, and go to your wallet and make that IBC transfer deposit there. That's certainly fine. Um, we've alternatively uh, kind of enabled IBC transfers from uh, within this app directly um, through the Kepler wallet. So go ahead and connecting that. Um, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, you, you're gonna see some pop-ups about adding this chain and having this app support that wallet. Um, so you see here, I have roughly 29 bucks of USTs. Um, so let's go ahead and transfer 20 over to Avalanche. Once you hit that, you're gonna see another pop-up uh, from Kepler kind of confirming the details of your transaction. Um, so hitting approve. All right, and you, so, you see that pretty quickly that transaction was um, detected. Um, we give you a link to Terra's Block Explorer. We can view uh, the, the details of it. Uh, going through this, uh, terms largely look okay. Um, you see the, depo the deposit address in question here. Um, so going back to my UI, um, and already coming back to my UI, you, you see that um, the Axler network has confirmed your deposit. Um, and uh, we re represent that we're gonna broadcast that to Avalanche within the next couple of minutes of, of that having happened. Um, the final step here is, <clears throat> is our detection of uh, the transaction on the destination chain. Um, once you kind of hit step four, um, you'll see that we'll, um, just like we, just like you saw us link you to the Block Explorer on Terra, we'll link you to the Block Explorer on Avalanche in this case as well. Um, you could wait for that to happen. You certainly don't have to, but um, it sort of is nice to, to be able to link that up. Um, while we wait for that, um, just to go over some support options in case uh, issues do arise, there's this uh, support link down here. Um, for every transaction that you initiate through our application, there's a uniquely generated trace ID and deposit address. So if you do reach out to us, um, in, um, in this case, we set up a Discord support channel. Um, the support channel call, be, being satellite bridge support. Um, if you do reach out to us, we just sort of ask that you reference uh, these parameters because this, this would help us in case any issues do come up um, with, with debugging. Um, other helpful links, uh, you see this, this transaction did complete. Um, so just going here to view it on Snowtrace, you, you could just kind of confirm um, the details um, on that screen. Um, one of the things that you may want to do is if you're transferring to an avalanche chain and you want to see it in your, in your MetaMask wallet, you're going to want to make sure that 
um, you have the relevant token contract um, for, um, in this case, USTs on Avalanche. We actually provided a link for um, what the list of this, those token contracts look like here. Um, and I've already added it to my MetaMask wallet, but in case uh, in case you have not, um, we're looking for USTs on Avalanche. So it'd be this guy here. Um, in terms of other helpful links, um, so the Discord we, we talked about, um, the instructional video, it's a link to this video. Um, and we'll have a medium guide as well with, uh, with some screenshots and kind of step-by-step -step directions of exactly what we just kind of talked about. So um, I think that's it. Um, we could at the stage go in the opposite flow. I don't think we necessarily have to, um, but just maybe it'd be worth kind of going through um, some differences there when you're going from um, an EVM chain back. So um, kind of like before, you can auto-populate the uh, destination address here. This is just my terror address for my Kepler wallet. So in hitting initiate asset transfer, the deposit address that is generated here is actually a deposit address that, uh, that'll that be on the Avalanche network. So you could go ahead and go directly into your MetaMask and, and make that deposit that way. Um, we will also sort of enable you to do that through this app as well, um, through the satellite app that is. Um, by connecting your MetaMask, and you see here that my balance has the 20 USTs, and you can go, I'm not actually going to go and do this, but um, but uh, that would be the flow in the opposite direction for the case where you're not doing the IBC transfer, um, but for, for a direct EVM deposit. So um, I, I think that's it. Um, that, that's all we wanted to show. Um, there are um, elements of this that are still working, that are st a still a, wor a work in progress. So um, if there are any issues or questions, definitely feel free to reach out. Thanks very much.